Well, as cooler temperatures arrive, so does pumpkin picking season here in Sealand. And like many crops, the dry, hot summer weather we had could have an impact on this year's yield. KCAU 9 reporter Dylan Adams takes us to a family pumpkin patch here in Siouxland to find out. Tim and Sophie, this is the 25th year that the Hoffling family has grown and sold pumpkins near Marcus, Iowa. But this summer was one of the driest they can remember. But a late June storm was able to turn everything around. We did start out very dry this year. I mean, it was probably the driest spring we got into. And the month of June was really dry, and I actually had water each plant twice during the month of June. And that took, you know, probably two weeks to get through the patch twice. I... Alan Hoffling knows a thing or two about growing pumpkins. He's been doing it since he was a little boy, helping out his grandma on the farm. Now he and his wife, Gerilyn, have built a barn, a corn maze, and more to entertain families from all over every fall. They have over 50 varieties of pumpkins, gourds, and squash, and even some Indian corn to offer. But the dry conditions made the prospects of this year's yield look grim. But on June 26th, we got three inches of rain, and since that day, we probably picked up 10, 11 inches of rain since June 26. So we had a very tough start, but the good Lord blessed us with a lot of rain. Now, Hoffling says it's about picking time, with preparations in the works to host visitors in the coming weeks, thanks in large part to the moisture and these helpful insects. We have a lot of, a lot of activity out here early in the morning when, when, the, when the flower is, is, is blooming. You know, got all kinds of bees flying around. So, um, so they did their job. I mean, like I said, we're probably going to have one of the better crops we've had in, in years, if not the best. Hoffling Pumpkin Pats will be open to the public starting Friday, September 24th. Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.